wide groups is an easy way for administrators to macromanage large groups of users throughout the learning management system. Logged in as an admin, let's go via the front page, settings block, site administration, users, accounts, cohorts. So essentially cohort needs to be a large group of people who share something in common. Um, it could be geography or their business function, or it might even be um, that they share you know, an academic semester or calendar year. So we click add. Let's give this particular cohort a name and an ID in the description. Should note that uh, there's two contexts to which cohorts can be applied, either system or globally, which is essentially a site-wide group, or at a category level. And you can see there's only the default category available at this point in time. Save changes. So we've created the cohort. We now need to assign users to the cohort. So we can select them from the list of potential users and then simply add them to this cohort. So that's done. Now returning to the front page, what's now important is that the administrator goes via the settings block, plugins, enrollments, manage enrollment, enroll plugins. We need to ensure that the cohort sync plugin is enabled and then let's go to one of our courses and what the admin or else the teacher needs to ensure at course level is that the course sync enrollment method is enabled so we go via the course settings users enrollment methods let's add cohort sync as an enrollment method and then we simply choose the cohort that pre-exists and the uh, the role that we want to enroll those cohort members into as part of this course, add method. So this will ensure as we add members to our cohort, they're essentially synchronized with this said course via this enrollment method. So we can now see that there's five members um, that have been added as part of uh, the recently created cohort.